What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Spiritual Boss Lady, coming back at you with another reading for Aquarius for the month of September. Please like, share, and subscribe. You guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're already part of the Boss Lady family, I love you, I love you, I love you. This reading is for Aquarius. You guys, this is a general reading, a general reading, which means it will not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, it's probably not for you, okay? Okay. So let's jump right on in. Aquarius. For the month of September. Okay. You guys look out. There's a new full moon coming on the 22nd. That is two of pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. Okay. Thank you. And the Queen of Pentacles. Excuse me, for Aquarius. Thank you. I just finished doing Libra's read, guys. Seven of Swords. For Aquarius, for the month of September. Please show me what I need to see. Thank you. And the Page of Swords. So, yeah, Aquarius, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my family and my dogs, the first cut up is the Two of Pentacles, which speaks to juggling. It could speak to two things that you have on your mind, should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I, um, but it speaks to juggling, you guys, and, and the advice behind that card is to take a step back. And the next card up you have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords speaks to suffering, grief, pain, bitterness, loss, regret. Um, but tens are endings, you guys. So this could be the ending of a situation, okay? And the next card up you have is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is a very independent woman, okay? Um, oh, well, I want to say woman, but there is no gender in tarot. So... That Queen of Pentacles could easily be uh, a male uh, who's independent, uh, good with money, okay? Uh, it could be a child's mother or a child's father, okay? Um, so, yeah, it, 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 it speaks to a woman that is very, very good with money, very, very financially uh, savvy. She's a good mom, but she's also financially savvy. She's a career woman. Okay, and the next card up you see um, is the hangman. And the hangman is stuck, stagnated uh, energy. Um, so, yeah. But what concerns me is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, sneaky behavior. Um, it could speak to arguments. It could speak to somebody trying to get away with something. Okay, someone being harsh. Okay, and then the next card up, which kind of bounces or balances off of that card is the page of swords and the page of swords speak to harsh and direct messages coming into you okay page of swords speaks to harsh and direct truthful communication coming in it's harsh it's swift but it's truthful okay and then the next um card that you have is the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles genuinely speaks to a new opportunity um, it genuinely speaks to unexpected wealth, um, news of money coming in, things of that nature, okay? And then the next card you have is the Queen of Rods. And the Queen of Rods is a bold, confident, passionate 
person. The Queen of Rods is a fiery, um, feisty kind of energy. She's very passionate. Um, she also, uh, the Queen of Rods is, is uh, fire. It's Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Capricorn, okay? Um, I also see on the board Pisces. I also see Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I also see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? But um, the next card up we have after that is a Hermit card. Um, and, and the Hermit card speaks to going inward. The Hermit card speaks to reflection. The Hermit card speaks to a lot of things that you need to process. So you're going inward, you're meditating, um, going to a place where you can find peace, uh, going to a place where you can clear your thoughts, things of that nature, okay? And the next card up you have is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is very, it's, 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 it's another, it's another... I don't want to say harsh, but swords are basically about cutting things out, if that makes sense, or cutting, slicing and dicing what doesn't serve you, okay? And the next card up you have after that is the moon card. And you guys, the moon card speaks to dreams. Um, but the moon card speaks to something that you don't, you're unaware of something. There's a part of the puzzle that you do not know. There's a part that you're unaware of, okay? Um, it, it, just, it can speak to secrets. Um, illusions, um, having to worry about uh, enemies, unknown, things of that nature. And the next card you have up is the chariot. And the chariot card can speak to travel. The chariot card can also speak to uh, endings in a sense because it's the, it, basically when I get the vibe of all of these cards together, honey, to be completely honest, I feel like Intuitively, I feel like there are two women in your life, Aquarius, that is definitely not holding you back, but they weigh heavily on your decisions. Um, it's possible that two of them or one of them has betrayed you, um, which has put you in a sort of a depression state. Um, possibly that one of them... Again, Seven of Swords, somebody tried to get away with something, okay? Somebody was lying, cheating, sneaky behavior. Uh, it also could be about arguments. Um, and then you have the messages of the conflict. It, it, this is conflict, you guys. Somebody betrayed either you or you betrayed somebody. And now there's a big conflict. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you don't know at, still, okay? And it's causing you to go into hermit mode. It's causing you to go into deep reflection, okay? Possibly even trying to be a little spiritual. You just want to come away from all of that stuck, stagnated, frustrated energy. And who wouldn't, okay? As I look at this energy, I'm not going to say that this person... Um, no, I have to say it like that. I mean, this person did this on purpose, okay? This th this was deliberate, if that makes sense. They were trying to be sneaky, okay? There's also, I'm getting the vibe of also somebody following somebody, somebody watching somebody, someone trying to cut somebody off, okay? Someone is possibly going to move. Okay, maybe move locations after embarrassment, after feeling stuck, after feeling grief and pain. Somebody's bitter though, guys, so be careful. Okay, someone is, I believe somebody is stalking. Okay, so let me pull some other cards for you guys. It says, Archangel, I don't want to butcher the name, guys. Here you go. Okay, that's the name. And it says, act with wisdom, use information for your highest good. Yeah, possibly somebody heard some information, okay? And maybe instead of 
just taking it and you know for a grain of salt they're making it more difficult and making it more known maybe trying to embarrass somebody okay let me get some more cards for Aquarius for the month of September, please. Thank you. Okay. Archangel Lavender, prepare for soul healing. Forgive and release everyone. Yeah, you guys, you remember when you were a child, your grandmother would say, forgiveness is not for them, honey. It's for you. And I agree. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then you have this one. And it says, it's time to let go and prepare for change. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light, you guys, and have a blessed and beautiful day.